Hey, what's going on to YouTube? It's your boy Big Sue coming at another banger of a video trying to help you guys get better and better at Warzone. Hey, the number one thing you really need to worry about when it comes to Warzone is your settings. Settings is the thing that can make or break you as a Warzone player. And these settings actually helped me reach some of the highest levels in last year's rank and as well as resurgence rank this year. So if you guys like this video, make sure you guys like the video, comment down below. What are some settings help that you guys may need that I can might help, be able to help you with and subscribe to the channel for more. That being said, let's check out these settings and see how I can make you a better Warzone player. Are you tired of doing pull-ups every time you want to mantle over a wall? These are the settings you need to get rid of that. Make sure you have grounded mantle, airborne mantle, and automatic ground mantle hang all turned off. Here's how you get your aim to look like this. Make sure your sensitivity is exactly where you want it to be, but these secret tips that the pros use will make you have snappier aim. To make it easier for your controller aim, take your sensitivity and put it on custom. Then press X or square and go down and change this from what is default to 1.2 down to 0.8. And then you'll notice that your aim is a lot snappier than when it was before. Make sure you have your ADS sensitivity multiplier 0.8 as well. So when you aim down sight, it's, it sticks to your target. So this is without aiming down sight. This is with aiming down sight. Tax stance is a new mechanic that was brought in MW3. So when you press down on your D-pad, it does this. Tax stance is the middle ground between aiming down sight and hip fire. Hip fire, aiming down sight, tax stance. With tax stance, you'll have the mobility of hip fire, but the precision of aiming down sight. For your aim assist type, you want to make sure your aim assist is turned on, obviously. And you can choose between default and block ops. These are two of the strongest aim, aim assists in the game. Whichever one you feel comfortable with is the one you should use. Personally, I use default, but some people love black ops. Choose whatever one you want and go slay the lobby. You want to know why pros slide cancels look like this? And your slide cancels look like this? Change these two settings and your slide cancel will be much better. Put your, put your automatic sprint or automatic tax sprint to make sure you're always at tactical sprint to make sure your slide counts are better. And your slide maintained sprint is what that secret sauce is to make sure you get back to sprint after your slide cancel. Otherwise, you'll end up walking. There's a secret setting into the game of, of how people have better slide canceling and how it's more fluid than most people's. A lot of people use tap the slide for the, to make sure they slide fast, but if you put it on slide only, it gets rid of that little delay in between sliding and slide canceling to make it more fluid. Make sure you put your settings on slide only to get more fluid slides. Are you tired of getting fired out the sky? Turn your parachute auto play off. Yeah, that means you might splat your death more, but that means you can pull your shoe at the last second to get kills, kind of like this. Sprinting door bash. Um, this makes it to where you can run and play and bust a door all at the same time. If you have this turned off, then you have to press a button to open a door, and that is valuable seconds of valuable time you may need to get away from somebody. Ledge climb behavior. This, once again, is going to make you do those pull-ups. Make sure you have it on movement base, and then you can get over that. This is, this is the tip of how a lot of pro looters loot very fast. Put your interact reload behavior on prioritize interact. So that way, if you have to choose between reloading and opening the door, you open the door first, you open the chest first. Pro always prioritize react. Armor, armor play behavior, make sure you put it on apply all. So you can hold the button one time and then it puts on all three plates as you're running through doors and you're, you're able to run and finesse through people. Otherwise, you have to hit the button one time two three times if you're an akimbo player did you know that you can make it to where you don't have to fire both weapons at the same time i mean you don't have to fire both weapons individually if you change this one setting where both weapons are fired at the same time using your right trigger button this is for people who drive a lot in the game if you drive a lot and you have that thing where the camera recenters it's kind of annoying and it messes up your your pov of what's around you Take this vehicle camera recenter and turn it off so that way you never have to worry about the camera recentering. It's going to stay center on your car the entire time. These two these two settings right here really is going to help your aim out a lot. The ADS field of view, you put it on affected. A lot of people have it on independent, but that makes it that makes it to when you aim down sight, it changes your FOV. As you see, it changes the FOV. It actually shrinks it, which gives you more recoil. It makes it seem like it has more recoil. 
But if you put it on affected, no matter what, it's going to stay at the same FOV you're at. And look, less recoil. Same as that gun, less recoil. And your weapon field of view, you want to have it on wide. If you put it on narrow, your gun will look like this. Have your weapon field of view on wide. For dear God, for dear God, if you want your game to look and feel better, weapon motion blur and, and world motion blur, please have both of them turned off. Having, the, having this blur is just going to be crazy bad on your eyes as well as the film grain turn this down to zero it gets rid of all the clunkiness and extra bs inside the game have that down to zero if you want to save your eyes from flashbangs like this this is how you save your eyes with the inverted flashbang setting when you turn this on instead of it flashing white it goes black it makes it a lot easier for your eyes Audio is one thing that Warzone has always had wrong, but in Warzone 3, Ravensoft has finally fixed the audio and made it good. So, these are the audio settings you should use whether you're on PC or a console. For PC players, you want to make sure your audio mix is on PC speaker. To get rid of all the unedited stuff, you don't need gameplay music volume and you don't need cinematic music volume. You're here to play the game. If you want to get the most kills as possible, turn the music off. It distracts you. Turn the music off. War tracks off. Only thing you need is dialogue volume and effects volume. If you want to have fun, like I love that fun, make sure you have your proximity chat turned on so you can talk to anybody in your game. And if you're on console, the best mix will be home theater. Your HUD is something that a lot of pros change that a lot of people don't know about. So there's a couple of key things that you need to change about your HUD to make you a better player, get you more information, and get you easier and faster gameplay. You want to make sure you move your mini map shape from round like it is on default to square because you have more area that you can see when it's a square instead of a circle. Make sure you have your mini map rotation turned on so that way as you rotate, it rotates with you. The HUD bounds is how small and how close in your HUD is. So if you apply all out like this, your HUD is going to stretch to the outer limits of your screen from up and down left and right. But most pros, what you don't know is they go down all the way to the bottom of the limit and then they close it all the way bottom to the limit. So that way your hood is going to be as tight to your face as possible so you don't have to turn your head to look at your mini map. All you have to do is move your eyes one quick second. The horizontal compass. Make sure you have the compass turned on because sometimes it tells you where people are shooting from uh, left and right and gives you precise locations. You want to make sure you have your crosshairs turned on so you can know exactly where you're aiming at. But there's a secret tip that a lot of pros are not telling, and I'm going to show you right here, right now. So when you have your crosshairs turned on, make sure you go to where it says center dot and turn on your center dot. So even when the crosshairs fade away, you'll still have that center, dot, so you, that center dot so you know exactly where you're aiming. And put it on largest so you know exactly where you're aiming and where, and it's easier to see. So for hit marker visuals, you want to make sure you have that and damage based hit markers turned on. Okay, with all those tips and tricks, I hope I was really able to help you hone in and help you with your settings to make you a better Warzone player. These things will help you really win your gunfights and maneuver around the map easier so you can be a better Warzone player. If you are looking to be more competitive and try things, Dip your foot inside of rank play. You, make sure you guys go check out this video right here describing everything you need to know about Resurgence Rank. That being said, it's your boy Stu, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.